Today I'm going to continue my cleanup pass, this time specifically focused on error handling and all of the big paths where errors can happen. It's not super exciting stuff, but if I neglect it now, I'll forget about a lot of the details and I'll regret it later when I need it. So let's get through it. First, I want to go through the Tool2D implementation layer function by function and make sure that all the paths where an error can happen have an error string set up. Here we can see that a new issue is cropping up for me. My system for returning error strings was set up assuming it would only just be using statically defined error strings. But this path wants to dynamically allocate its error string because shader compilation can return arbitrarily long strings and you know, I can't know statically what that string will be from the code that calls the, error, the shader compilation. And so this hints to me that in the future I need to start thinking about equipping the code base with more powerful systems for error handling and logging kinds of problems. Next up, same sort of auditing of the functions in the free type font parser. It turns out the free type API comes with its own function for getting error strings from an error code, which is super cool, and I'm going to try to use it. Whenever one system has already done work for creating error information, I like to pass that along through the layers that wrap it so that I can always get back down to the low level details of what my errors actually are. Here's another hint that I need to equip the code base with better logging. This time the issue is that I want to capture information like the failure to render specific glyphs. If just one glyph fails to render, I don't need the whole system to stop working, but I would also like some way to find that information when a glyph does happen to get messed up. This is more of a logging than an error handling thing, but they're kind of interconnected problems because they're going to need similar features and they might want to interplay in interesting ways that I need to think about. All right, now the same thing one more time, auditing the functions, this time in the font baker data paths. After going through the error handling, I decided it's now a good time to do a code base wide audit of all of my to do comments. Any to dos that I can handle right away, I'll go ahead and address them. And in the layers with lots of to dos, I want to collate the to dos at the top of headers where I'm more likely to see them and where I'll get a feel for how may they might relate to each other when I go to actually deal with them. Since I've been noticing spots where I want to put in better logging and error handling in the future, I'm going to leave specific to-dos that will let me find these again more quickly in the future so I can upgrade the sites where I have done something kind of sloppy instead of using better error handling stuff.
All right, that'll be it for today. It was just a bunch of error handling and to-do organizing, which I know it's exciting stuff. But after all the big leaps forward that I made in previous videos, being thorough about the bookkeeping work makes a huge difference in the long run. So I'm happy to get that out of the way. Next time I can turn my attention back to something a little more interesting. See you then.